Hey everybody! How's it going? I am going to do a live today with my girl Julia. She is a, an energy medicine practitioner and I just wanted to interview her today. Hey Julia! Let me see. How to do this. It's my first time going live with somebody so I'm trying to figure out how it works. It worked! Hi. <laughs> hey, Julia! How's it going? I gotta fix my... How are you? Pretty good! I had to nurse the baby before I got on here, and she just, like, didn't plan on stopping, so it took a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yeah, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Thank I'm you. so excited to be doing this with you. I know. Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing of this. Of course. So your business is called La Vida Healing, correct? Yes. yes. I love that. Thank you. And this is Julia for everyone who does not know Julia. She is an energy medicine practitioner. Hello, everyone. In the Southeast Michigan area. Um, but you do your work virtually, correct? Yes. Most of my work is online. Um, so I work with people all around the world. Awesome. I love that you can do it virtually. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, so what exactly is an energy medicine practitioner in your own words? So there's a lot of different modalities to energy healing. I think the most popular one is like Reiki. Um, the, the one that I use, I primarily use emotion code and body code. And so I, I work with the subconscious mind. So instead of like going to somebody to diagnose you with what your issue is, we just are going to ask your body, your subconscious mind, because it knows everything about you. It's recorded every second of your life and it knows it, it knows the root cause of your whatever you're going through. And it knows also how to fix it. So that's why I think it's better, you know, instead of going to a doctor who doesn't know your body is the doctor, it knows, it knows what you need. Absolutely. <laughs> I love that. I think that it's so cool. So basically, you're working with energies then, correct? Yes. So, so and frequencies? Yes. Um, so once we figure out from your subconscious mind what the issue is, sometimes it's emotional, sometimes it's mental, sometimes it's something physical like your diet or something in the environment. So from there, we can make changes. If it's something emotional, mental, we can um, release that energetically and immediately people have a shift and a change. I love that. Me and Julia actually went and got coffee recently and she was doing this with me and I swear once she did the release like on me I was like sweating like <laughs> I had a worse hot flash than like I've had in any of my pregnancies or anything I swear it was insane yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I did I felt so much better after like that day and you were telling me like drink a ton of water so it's almost like when these releases happen would you describe it as kind of like a detox Yes, that's exactly what it is. Some people, I think you're a little more sensitive. Some people don't actually feel it. And some people get like a sensation like you did, like a hot flash. Like it's literally like coming out of your body. So um, it's pretty cool. I, yeah, I thought that was so cool because you were like, just drink a ton of water. And I was like thinking like that's what they tell you after you get a massage to like, you know, mm -hmm. detox all of that from the lymph and everything. And I thought that was so interesting. <laughs> Cause I did, I, I think I am sensitive to it. Yeah. I've always felt very sensitive to energies and, and things. Um, Cause I did almost start to get like a headache I felt you, too. Uh, so I am, um, I know that I'm very, and you said that um about the dreams as well. You said, oh, you could have very vivid dreams. Yeah. And I hadn't dreamed actually in a while and that night I had an incredibly vivid dream and I was oh, like oh wow <laughs> you know my body is getting rid of everything that I was holding on to all of it I think it was grief was the emotion that I had yeah. really these uh, emotions make you really dense they make you like really heavy like energetically and when you clear it it clears like your your mind your intuition it makes just everything clearer it's amazing I love that it's so it's just so cool um so what led you into this work? Like, how did you decide that this is something that you wanted to do? So I've been drawn to energy healing my whole life. I always knew I wanted to heal with my hands, whatever that meant when I was younger. And so then when I was older, I, I literally Googled like what healing with your hands and Reiki came up. So then I started with that. 
And then about five years ago, I was like in desperate need of healing. I tried everything. I tried like medicine. I tried talk therapy. Um, I knew in my heart there was something more. Not that those things are, are bad. They're meant, they're purposeful um, in certain things. But it's just when I found energy healing and especially like the emotion code, body code, it healed me so fast and it got to the root cause of stuff and it was just very fast vast the fastest thing i've ever seen and so it literally i was a client um for about a year and completely like my whole life everything 180 like i, I don't know i wouldn't be here right now it's talking on camera i love it, I, this, think it so. I think it's so interesting just coming to terms with um that it, that it is our, our subconscious mind, that there are things going on within us that we are not aware of mm -hmm. um, that, that can be healed. I think that that's just so interesting. Yeah, that's a major awareness that people like, oh my gosh, my body is actually, your body's like your healer, your teacher, your body's like the answer, not a doctor, you know? Exactly. Like and I think we, in our society, we've come so far from even just following our intuition and trusting what our body is telling us. I think we go against it so often because we don't have that connection with ourselves anymore that we used to have. Yeah. It's not as strong. And I think that's why so many people do rely on doctors and they just put their health in the hands of other people. Yes. Um, when in reality, if we really are in tune with our bodies and we, you know, we're connected with ourselves and we can figure these things out and heal ourselves, mm -hmm. which is super awesome. Yeah, your body is, is designed to regenerate. It, it's literally meant to heal anything. Um, like even the most chronic illness, your body can heal it. It's just you have to give your body the opportunity, like clear the path so your body can can do its thing. So after a clearing, so I, I remember kind of how you described it. You said something about um, your cells and your DNA are like rewiring kind of. What yeah. exactly... I like to think of it as like energetic surgery. Like we're literally taking stuff out of your like dense energy that your body doesn't need. And then so like after any surgery, your body needs recovery time to heal. So it's like the, the frequency of your body, all your cells and DNA are healing. And that's like what processing is. It's like, okay, I've released all this stuff. Now the frequency of your body is going to heal and change and literally rewire itself. It literally heals itself. That is so cool. It's just so interesting to me. I just, yeah. I love everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So what was I going to ask? So how could something like this benefit um, pregnant women? Okay, so I worked with pregnant women specifically for morning sickness. And I most of the time we can help somebody and like who's been suffering for morning sickness for like weeks we can help them in like one session, like it's gone. Um, because most people don't know or are aware of that morning sickness is caused by the mother's brain not being connected to the fetus. So like her body is not like, I guess, aware that there's something growing in her. So then that's what's causing the nausea. So the mother's brain has to be connected to the fetus, the amniotic fluid, the placenta, and the umbilical cord so if any one of those has a disruption you will get nausea and sick which makes sense then kind of why it usually happens in your first trimester it's like your brain hasn't gotten the memo yet mm. that you're pregnant <laughs> Almost. Yeah. which is pretty interesting so yeah. that is so amazing so then say that you did have a client with morning sickness what exactly what is the process like what exactly would you do with the client um to help them release that or to help them their brain realize you know that they are pregnant so first i would make sure that they've talked with you first and done everything to you know like all of your remedies that you recommend if nothing has helped until then then um then a, probably an energy healing session would be that be the next step so i'm not ask i'm not verbally asking the mother what's wrong because if she knew what's wrong you know we then she wouldn't we, be happy we consciously <laughs> had knew what was wrong like we wouldn't have any of our issues so i'm asking her subconscious mind what is wrong and a lot of times it's something like there's an emotional like a trapped emotion or maybe there's something it literally could be anything it could be something inherited that's blocking um there's something in her physical environment 
Um, and the way I get these answers is through muscle testing. And this is also called like applied kinesiology. Everybody can do this. I am not special. We all have this ability. I have just practiced a lot and I've just mastered the skill. I can do it really fast. Um, so I, I'm, we're getting this wealth of knowledge from her subconscious mind through muscle testing. That is so awesome. So explain a little bit about applied kinesiology. I know I was telling you um, the first time that I really um, heard about it was actually my father-in-law um, was he had us like put our, both of our arms out and then one arm we had like a banana and in the other hand we had a cookie and he's like like hold your arms out as strong as you possibly can and I'm going to come and try to push them down like don't let me push them down and the hand with the cookie went down immediately and then the hand with like the nutritious food would stay up and I thought that was so interesting and it realized that that's what applied kinesiology yeah. kind of was Mm hmm. That's exactly what it is. Your body will give you the answers like, yes, yeah, you can ask your body a yes or no question, and it will either stay strong or it'll break. So, or in the same thing, like, what it, if it's something's good for you, so your body will stay strong in the presence of something that's good for you, and it'll weaken or like break like your arm that weakened with the cookie. So you can ask your your body like body, what is causing this nausea for me? And you People, a lot of people, the easiest one is the sway test is when you stand up and if you fall, you just ask your body a question. If it falls forward, it's yes. If you fall backward, it's, it's no. Um, you can test any muscle on your body. You know, some, like some people do the arm test, like your father-in-law. Um, I use my fingers just because it's like I test the muscle of a finger. And so most people know how to do this in person, like someone's physically pressing on your arm. And the cool thing is, you can do it by proxy. So like on the like across space and time, basically on like the video, that's how I can work with people all around the world. I, I just muscle test based on your behalf. Yeah, that's awesome that you can do that virtually yeah. like that. I've been um, practicing a little more with because the way Julia does it is the muscle mm -hmm. testing right here. So if you ask your body a question, and it stays strong, you know, then that's something that you're how would you explain that's what you that's like a yes a yes okay a yes and then if it breaks that's a no yeah uh, I've been trying to actually I haven't you you gave me the book the emotion code I haven't started it yet because I was my life's been so crazy but I really oh. want to. but I have been like asking myself questions and doing this but I think I'm still at the point where like I'm letting my myself alter yeah you know and I'm, the energy of like the quest or the what am I even saying right now I'm the, just like the, answer. The, the, the answer yeah <laughs> in the beginning like that's what you have to work through is like because your ego wants to get your ego can get involved and wants a certain answer but yeah you're that's amazing that's everybody's got to start there it is cool did you notice that when you first started out as oh, well yeah. oh my that gosh, you were yeah. actually kind of you're telling oh, yeah. yourself to answer and you're like this isn't right oh yeah and yeah. You, doubt, you doubt yourself like is this is this real and it just takes practice and the growing of trust and oh yeah you'll get it that's so awesome it kind of also reminds me of just like in, being in certain situations I think our body just um like the way we feel you know in certain situations our body tries to tell us with our gut like a gut feeling like this mm -hmm. you shouldn't be shouldn't be in this situation this friendship or this relationship isn't for you um just by the way that we are feeling um but we shut that you kind of just shut that down those red flags yes we, we don't listen to it yeah so this is kind of cool because you you know I don't know you can tell yeah exactly what your body is telling you yes or no it's beneficial to have somebody else muscle test for you. Like I have people work on me because my, e I can, you know, I can't always work on yourself because your ego gets in the way. So it's, it's beneficial to have somebody else work on you who doesn't have an agenda or doesn't care what the answer is for you. Exactly. So what are some sort of questions? Like if someone wanted to practice, mm -hmm. um, doing this, what are like what are the sorts of questions that you ask? I guess that's like the hardest part for me is knowing like what what am I supposed to be asking my subconscious or asking my body and the way to word those things. Yeah, so wording is huge. Yours if you could word something wrong in your subconscious mind is your subconscious mind is very literal. It does not it wants like a a very simple question. So it, how you word something is huge. 
Um, like, so let's say you're feeling um, like sadness, okay? You can ask your subconscious mind, you can say, okay, is this sadness, um, does this have to do with something physically in my environment? Yes or no? Does this have to do with something like a, an emotion I'm holding? Yes or no? Um, like you just keep asking until you get a yes, yes, yes. And then once you get a yes, then you kind of focus in on that. Yeah. Um, that yep. question. Yep. And then so I have I have different charts that I that help guide me. So like the emotion, the body code is a whole chart system. That's just a lot like helping us help like letting your subconscious guide us to where it wants to go. Um, and then once you become aware of something, then we can release that. Awesome. Yeah, I love that. And I think also, um, for anyone who is uh, more on the spiritual side, um, I notice, um, like a lot of times in labor, a labor will stall, like I know it happened to me, I was like nine centimeters dilated. And then all of a sudden, my labor just stopped. Mm -hmm. um, my second, and I wasn't thinking at the time, like, Oh, maybe this is a mental block, maybe this is something mental happening. Um, so I think in those situations, something like what you do could really help women, either, even yeah. while they're giving birth, um, try to figure out what exactly, do you have a trapped emotion? What is it? And can we release that for you right now? Yeah. That might actually help the, the process. Yes, it's definitely helpful to have somebody else there because when you're in labor, I don't think you can even, your mind is not in the state to like figure out what's going on. So, and it's yeah. like, it's just the most beneficial thing is just to have somebody ask your subconscious mind what's going on because you need to get to the root cause. Like, I would think fast. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I, I just think that's so cool. So if somebody, so like if I did have a client who wanted this um, sort of work done like during pregnancy, yeah. um, like if they had, say, insomnia, morning sickness, mm -hmm. any of those things, so that is something that you could help them with virtually. Like you could set up a Zoom call. Yes, I can I can definitely set up a Zoom call or um, you know, if somebody in the local area was interested in me having being at their, you know, pregnancy or their labor, I can definitely do that as well. Um, I also so I can I can muscle test and see, you know, what, what is going on. It's, you know, for insomnia, a lot of times there's just trapped emotions like causing the mind to get stuck. I also have a scanner that I showed you this, the AO. Scanner. Yes. Talk about the scanner. Yes. It's so cool. So I have, this thing is super cool. It's a, it's a biofeedback machine. So it scans your body and gives you insight to like everything you could ever imagine, like emotionally, mentally, physically, um, but then it also, the difference with this, with, uh, between other devices is it's, it has a, it's a frequency generating device. So it has over 2000 frequencies that you can send to somebody and it will, it will correct the body's frequency. So I have a frequency sickness. I have one, literally anything you could ever think of. And so when I send it to somebody, it's, it's aligning their body to heal whatever they're going through. So I also have that as well. So that's so the way that that would work with a client is like, does your client just call you up and say, hey, this is the way that I'm feeling right now, or like, I'm very anxious, or yeah. I'm having fears, and then you can go onto your scanner and find a frequency that has to do with feeling anxious. And then you just send that frequency out. Yep. Um, I also have it's it, it basically broadcast through the etherum so like through time and space which is also like how the body code emotion code system works that's kind of sometimes it's a hard concept for people to grasp because you know it's you can't physically see it but um that's i broadcast a frequency to a specific person that's so cool so you could literally broadcast a frequency to somebody while they were in labor yes I if you weren't there I, I send frequencies to pe like clients in the hospital all the time. Really? Yeah. So like, yeah, I don't have to be present with you. If someone's in labor, I can make you a playlist and I can, I mean, I have, I have frequencies for like, um, I don't know if some people know about the Bach flower remedies. Um, yeah. They're, they're help with emotional states. I have a bunch of homeopathic frequencies. So sometimes their body just needs something more for their you know to help their physical state i have like everything anything mental emotional physical that your body needs support in tell me a little bit about the audio oh the inner voice yeah 
So that's another scan that this offers and you talk into it for 10 seconds and it analyzes your voice and it, it literally can tell you every physical imbalance, mental, emotional. Um, and then from those results, it creates four MP3 like meditative tones that you listen to. And they're just really like nice, nice music, but underneath it is like, is a frequency matrix specific to your body to heal everything it, it came up with so it comes up with like an eight page report just from like everything i it saw because <laughs> when you did it for me it even it shows you like the vitamins you're deficient in in your body or what you um what your body isn't tolerating um like foods and things right and then like yeah. toxins it went through toxins and it goes through your chakras as well, telling you which are open and what which are closed, which is so cool because it kind of gives you a base of like if, if you are on like more of a spiritual healing journey of like, where do I start? You know what I mean? Yes. Like, OK, this chakra is completely closed. I really need to do things that are going to help, you know, open this energy of part of my body or, you know, whatnot. Yeah. So I just so interesting. This technology has been around for a long time. The astronauts have used this to stay alive in space all this time. It's just, it's new to the public. They just now release. So this, this is available for every household. Every, anybody can have this device. It's not, it's, it's at an affordable price. That's so cool. So you yeah. could literally, from one device, you could use it to heal your family and figure yeah. out literally. exactly what's going on. Yeah. And I think that's so awesome too for, um, for young children who have a hard time putting into words the way that they're feeling. So most okay. of the time you don't know what's wrong with your baby or your young child. They're just upset. Um, so being able to ask those questions, like what is going on with, you know, so-and-so is it, um, is it this, is it that? And then being able to narrow it down and then send some sort of frequency to them to heal. Yeah. I think that's awesome. I know it's, it's, it's literally so like healing is going to, is uh, really on the direction to a whole new path. Um, even, a lot of American doctors have already made public statements saying that energy and frequency medicine are the future of healing. Like we are just beginning this because it's true. If we, if, if we consciously knew what was wrong with us or our children, or if a doctor, you know, consciously knew we wouldn't have any of our issues. It's, we don't know. And we need to go back to our root, which is being connected to our body, like letting our body tell us we are not smarter than our body. And so I exactly. we're, just, we're, we're on that Our society, the human collective is back on that journey to like, oh, <laughs> but yeah, and we need to, and especially throughout pregnancy, I think it's mm -hmm. so important to be connected with your body and yes. understand what is going on. Even, I mean, it's so crazy society right now, honestly, I, I feel like everyone gets on birth control at such a young age in America. Mm -hmm. Like they start pushing birth control at like 13 years old for acne or for, you know, heavy periods and whatnot, which is just absolutely messing with our hormones, mm -hmm. confusing our bodies. Um, and then I think those things, when we put them into our body, we kind of lose that connection that we had um, with ourselves. And that's why I think it's so interesting. There are other ways even of, um, like contraceptives like birth control where you can like wake up every morning and you take your temperature and you keep a chart mm -hmm. of like your um, like vaginal fluid and this and that, mm -hmm. of like your um, like vaginal fluid and this and that and like really get in tune with what's happening with your body and then you can realize like okay this is when I'm ovulating yeah. I probably did not have unprotected sex right now if i'm not trying to get pregnant just coming back to our like our bodies yeah. and just being one with ourselves instead of sourcing everything out to a doctor and a pill amen. and i just think it's so interesting amen <laughs> that's amazing pregnancy is a s spiritual process in the first place and you are literally like the, the woman is the connection between heaven and earth you are birthing something from heaven so yeah just the just the thought that like we have not been connected like I mean most women have not been like connected to their bodies all this time during pregnancy is like kind of oh my gosh like alarming a little bit like what have we been what has we been doing <laughs> exactly and I think that's 
um, like when men took over the medical establishment and decided that it was now their job to help women, you know, throughout pregnancy and birth when they had no idea what they were doing, they took that power from us and they instilled this fear in women that, Mm. that, you know, pregnancy and birth is this medical, you know, Mm. big medical ordeal when in reality, we've always had it in us. We know, we know how to start our baby. Yeah, we are that, you know, it's, it's just so wild. And that I think was really taken from us. But I do notice a lot of women trying to get back onto that path and take back their love your message. And I love that keep keep telling that message because this is it's truly like a war on the human spirit. It's a war on everybody and our souls and that this all all of this stuff is, you know, you know, like doctors and it's all not for the best purpose and yeah. you know it's we could go get into a whole nother subject yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk for hours honestly about all of the things yeah. it's just so interesting yeah I just love that your your message is just really empowering women that like your body knows all and just like putting that power back to women like I love that Yes, if uh, if we are left alone, if our bodies are left alone to labor and to birth without intervention, mm. you know, without anyone instilling any fear into the environment, mm. our bodies know what to do. I mean, obviously, there are times when medical intervention is needed. Absolutely. And we are blessed that we have that for those times when it is needed. But a lot of the times, it's really not. And I think it's amazing. I see a lot more women waking up to the fact that like, I can do this. Yeah, like, oh, I don't need all of these interventions and all of these things. Like, my body knows what to do, and I'm going to rock it. So yes. it's super interesting. <laughs> it's awesome. Yes. And I, and I just love what you do. I love it so much. I think it's just so awesome. <laughs> so much. I love what you do. <laughs> Thank you. I think that we could definitely work together. I mean, if anybody is interested in having, like, an energy medicine practitioner on call, um during your pregnancy or your labor if you feel like you have some sort of mental block or if you're feeling anxious or having insomnia or morning sickness you could give julia a call and she could send you frequencies she could really get to the root of what is going on and and help with that so i think that we are going to work on some sort of package together Mm -hmm. like a doula and energy medicine practitioner package for those who are open-minded to that (laughs) <laughs> because if there was something like that when I was having babies, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it will it will take your pregnancy to another level. Absolutely. Um, and I think instead of just, I think in pregnancy, there are already so many stressors, so many worries, especially if it's your first pregnancy, just in your head the whole time. Like every little thing you feel, is this normal? Oh my gosh, like what is happening to me? And then you get in your head and it's yeah. very stressful. Whereas if they were to come to you and you said, okay, it seems like your, your body is dealing with this, this, you're feeling this, yeah. it gives you something to actually work on mm-hmm. instead of sitting there and stressing, you can say, okay, I have this trapped emotion, maybe journal, like, why do I, why do I feel this way? Yeah. Um, something to actively do, because I think being overwhelmed is having so many things on your mind, but not knowing what steps to take or not taking steps to fix it. Yeah. Whereas this could really help people be like, okay, now I know what I can work on to help, you know, with this problem. I think it's so amazing to have a doula on on hand because you as a mother, you have to carry this baby. All of your energy is to this child. So it's it's having a team behind you to carry you and what you're going like what you're going through. Like I think that is priceless and just to have somebody being able to to like muscle test your subconscious mind what's going on what does this person need here's here's what here's what the correction here's the frequency here's what we need to do like uh, we are here to assist you and carry you as you are you know carrying your child and trying to birth a child i love it Mm -hmm. i think we'll make a really good team here yes i do too good well, thank you so much for coming on here today and chatting with all of us. That was amazing. Thank you, thank you for having me. This was so fun. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. Maybe if um, people are interested, we could do a clearing or something so they can really kind of see 
Oh my gosh. Um, I how it works. That. If anybody, I have an, a free introduction session too. So if anybody's just interested in maybe learning more about this, I have a free intro where we can just talk more and I can, I can like do a little demo session. I can show you how it works just to see if this is for you, if this is something you want to try. Um, and then please, anybody with morning sickness, if you are open, please reach out to me. I know we can help you. I've, I've seen like miracles in like one session. So please reach out. Yes. We're open. Perfect. Thank you so much, Thank Julia. You. We'll do this again, definitely. Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Girl. Bye.